Good morning, brethren. Welcome to Moments of Prayer today. Um, this morning we'll be praying for ourselves and for our nation, Nigeria. Our anchor scriptures is taken from Psalm 51. Precisely, let's look at verse um, 2. It says, Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. And um, we we'll look at verse 10 to 12. It says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. And hold me, uphold me with a free spirit. This morning we're going to pray for restoration in our lives. Restoration of our joy. Let's begin to talk to the Lord and begin to pray. Let's talk to God. Let's begin to say, Father, have mercy upon me. The Bible says, in iniquity was I created. The Bible makes us to know that we, from time to time, fall into sin. I need us to know that as an individual, we need the help of God. So I want you to start praying for yourself and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Cleanse me, O oh God. Wash me thoroughly. In sin was I born. Lord, I acknowledge my mistakes. I acknowledge my transgressions. Help me, O oh God. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. That is what I desire. Let us pray that we experience the joy of God. The joy that being in Christ, the joy that comes with knowing Jesus, that joy that comes from within. It's not from abundance of what you have or what you do not have. But it's a joy that only him can give. And the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's begin to talk to God this morning and say, Heavenly Father, restore to me that joy. I want to experience it. I don't want to get to heaven to know it. I want to know it. The Bible says he himself was made sin for us that he may wipe away our transgressions. This is the time for you to pray. Talk to the Lord God, your maker. He says, cleanse me, O Lord. Cause my life to align with yours. Let my will and everything I do at all times, let it be your own will. I do not want to live of myself anymore. I have done it. Where has it led me? Living for myself has not brought me the joy I desire. Lord, align my will to your will. Let your will alone be mine. Lord, teach me and help me to be true to myself. Help me, Lord, search my inner man. Help me to see that which is in me that you do not like, that you may purge it from me, that I may purge it of myself. Teach me, O oh God, to be with you continually. Help me to be conscious of you and to you alone. The Bible says in Jonah chapter 3, verse 10, the Bible says, it says, and God saw their works and turned from their evil and he repented of the evil. We're going to pray for Nigeria. The Father, we have had, we have had civil war before, but Lord repent, let our people repent that we may turn from evil, that there will be no evil on our land again. The rumors of war and the fears of war, that we know our hearts will be set upon God and we will have confidence in his presence, knowing that he will change his heart to was us. He will hear our cry over this nation and our hearts will be made full. Our joy will be complete in Christ Jesus. Let's begin to thank God. We do not have an high priest who is not moved with the feelings of our infirmities. Let's begin to thank him because he has heard us. He has heard us and he will do great and exceedingly abundantly more than that which we can ever dream or imagine. So shall it be as we have decreed this morning. In Jesus' name, amen.